Well hi folks, a few years ago I made some of these sort of split rimmed bowls if you can see. Quite a nice design on the top where you throw a rim quite thickly, split it a touch and then I just put some little little design features in with a brush handle. So we're going to revisit that today. Try and do another one of those. Not even considered making one for about, well it must be five years so We'll see how we get on. Can't even remember how I did it to be honest. But all I do remember is that you need to keep it perfectly central otherwise you won't be able to split the rim really well. So we'll get on and have a go anyway. rim quite thick so we'll leave it nice and thick like that we'll just just shape the ball before I start doing any messing about with the rim I want to keep it as central as possible, which that looks pretty good. So I'll just slow it down a touch. I can't remember how I cut the rim. I'm going to try and use a, a needle first. So that's split it a bit. And then we'll have a go with this little wooden bamboo tool just to try and stretch it out as a touch. Let's see if that works. Working so far. So that's it split. Give it a little bit of a sponge off. So what I'm going to try and do with this, I'll try and do something similar to the ones that I've just showed you before. Which if I remember rightly was just using a paintbrush handle. So there you go, as you can see, it's nicely split now. So I'm just going to use the handle of a paintbrush, keeping it nice and wet. And I think all I did was just to push it in like so, keeping it keeping it nice and wet all the time. Twisting it seems to make it come off a little bit easier. I don't know whether you can see that. It's uh, starting to get the, the remnants of a, a bit of a pattern. So we'll just keep going. I think I've put my wrong glasses on. It's a bit blurred. So yeah, I would imagine you could do any sort of, sort of, put little spouts in and... Things like that. But because it's quite sticky, I think you've just got to... Make sure whatever you're pushing in... Is very lubricated, so... Make sure it's wet. Otherwise it's just gonna stick. <laughs> is everybody bored yet? So it is a bit time consuming, but the effects are quite nice. Be because it's got like a well in the center, if you put different colors on, 
the glaze can pool up in the in the in the little trench and give you some nice uh, some nice effects. It's not difficult. It's just a bit time consuming, really. It's only a dead simple bowl, and as you can see, splitting the rim wasn't too difficult. But it's just this bit. I can't imagine doing this all day, every day. But one of them, one now and again, I don't mind. <laughs> I'm starting to get cross-eyed. So we're nearly there. Does look pretty spec, you know, pretty good actually. I must admit. It looks like you spent a lot longer than than you actually have. Because what's this taking me about two or three minutes? So we're coming to the end. Try and match them in. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh, see if I get to water that. For the last one. So there we go. I think that looks quite good actually. That's the profile. Pretty basic shape bowl, but quite a nice effect nonetheless. So yeah, quite pleased with that. Surprisingly easy considering I've not tried it for yet for absolutely years, so there we go folks, that's just a bit of a, a split rimmed, looks a bit like a cog, cog design bolt, give it a go, it's not difficult, all you've got to do is just make sure that the, you keep it perfectly centred so then the, you can manage to split the rim right in the middle, but other than that, pretty easy, so there we go.